<laughs> Two brothers have hit it big time, making popsicles. Now, in today's no business like small business, they say that it started with a push card and social media. My name's Steven Karst. This is my brother, Nick. We started King of Pops here in Atlanta. Three chocolate sea salts, please. Basically, we make handcrafted, all-natural popsicles. We make funky flavors. We started off just making five, ten, a dozen flavors, and now we've made over 500. Every day, we're going to make something new, something fresh. We never know exactly what we're going to make that day. The beginning story was we went on this trip to meet our older brother, who is an anthropologist. He was doing his field work in Panama, where we fell in love with the frozen treats of the different countries. Steve got laid off in 2009, and that was the break that we needed to get it going. We started, it was just one cart, now we've got about 30 carts. Social media was key to everything in the beginning. It let everyone know where we were and what was going on. We expanded out of Atlanta the second year. We're an Atlanta brand because we use Atlanta farmers, but if you go to Charlotte, they're buying Charlotte produce. They run their business on their own. It's their business. It's a neat way to do things. So we purchased a farm. We plan on growing a lot of our own produce. We can do all of our composting out there. It's a lot about making a great product, but it's also a lot about community supporting local and growing smartly. I did not know they had all those other flavors. <laughs> you got so My excited. favorite is pineapple habanero. All right, you have the chance though, to vote for your King of Pops next flavor. What do you think should be the next flavor? You can follow me on Twitter at Robin Mead to check out the choices. Mm.